Ever since we were kids, Edge tunes up at high volume. Dang, da dang, da dang. Edge, would you shut the f up? Dang, dang, dang. Let's give him a rock star. Let's have some fun with this. I took Lou Reed's glasses, Jim Morrison's pants, and Elvis's jacket, and a little bit of his haircut. It was like an identikit rock star. You know, an assemble one yourself. It was incredibly free. Come on now, give me that chocolate mousse. Ready? 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 Something happened in Acton Baby. That was the pivot point. We started out doing the same thing that we'd always done. We'd just bash it out. Listen back and not like anything that we were doing. Do you feel the same? We were on completely different pages. You say, oh, love. Get to share it. Leaves you, baby. Don't care for it. The fact that the Berlin Wall had come down, that was pretty powerful stuff. We were building our own wall in Hansa Studios. <laughs> There's an environment out of which music grows. There's a kind of faith that's necessary to move from one note to the other. Suddenly, something happens, and you know it. It was one of those hairs on the back of your neck moments. Making Acton Baby was the reason we're still here now. It wasn't that we found a sonic identity, we found a spiritual identity. That was what we actually needed. Carry each other, carry each other. Still we're in music because it could be fun and because it could go places you shouldn't be allowed to go. And we carried each other to the point where we could stand on our own feet.